Let's complete the first dinosaur in the museum in Idol Pet, an Idol game published by Brothers Apps and Games. So let's go. We uh, have a quick tutorial to remind us how to build again. When we enter, and let's build the school. We are going to upgrade this clicks value each time that we tap on that icon we will get more resource I would say laboratory resource to uh, to build this dinosaur okay we have unlocked a new organ and let's tap here we go so let's talk uh, quickly about dinosaurs because of course we are not going just to watch the building of this dinosaur skeleton without talking at all. Dinosaurs are a diverse group of uh, reptiles of the clade Dinosauria. So they first appear between uh, 245 and 233 million years ago. Even if uh, scientists don't know exactly the origin and the timing of uh, the evolution of dinosaurs. So they became the uh, dominant terrestrial vertebrate after the uh, Triassic-Jurassic extinction event. And that was uh, 201 million years ago. They kept uh, dominating throughout the uh, Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. And the fossil record shows that birds are feathered dinosaurs so the birds are coming from dinosaurs having evolved from earlier pteropods during the late jurassic epoch and um, pteropods if you don't know what it is is a dinosaur clade that is characterized by hollow bones and three toes and claws on each limb and then well dinosaurs were divided into avian dinosaurs so birds and non-avian dinosaurs who became extinct which are all dinosaurs other than birds okay yeah, I try to uh, upgrade the click value there. That is a bit hard at the beginning because the value, the profit was uh, low. And you have to upgrade the click value a lot of times before that uh, generates really a lot more value. So what people think is that um, all dinosaurs who were not uh, birds were gigantic well that's wrong because um, sturdy bones that we found in fossils are simply more likely to last until they are fossilized so that gave a misconception in fact, many dinosaurs were quite small, some measuring about 50 centimeters, only 20 inches in length. So the first dinosaur fossils were found in the early 19th century with the name of dinosaur, meaning terrible lizard being said by uh, Sir Richard Owen in 1841 when he wanted to refer to these great fossil lizards yeah by then people didn't use uh, the, the word uh, dinosaur yet well since then mounted fossil dinosaur skeletons have been major attractions at museums worldwide 
and dinosaurs have become an enduring part of uh, popular culture. The large sizes of some dinosaurs, as well as their seemingly monstrous and fantastic nature, have ensured their regular appearance in best-selling books and films such as uh, Jurassic Park, the famous blockbuster that almost all of us know. Let's talk quickly about the number of species. Did you know that there were more than 700 species of dinosaurs? There were, yeah, big ones, small ones, they roamed the land and flew in the skies. Some were carnivores and others were herbivores. And they live on all continents. We have found the dinosaur fossils on all continents on Earth, including Antarctica. Yeah, that seems a bit weird because uh, nobody would think that uh, dinosaurs will live in very cold territories. But scientists did find their fossils in Antarctica. And the people who look for dinosaur fossils are called paleontologists. And by the way, the word dinosaur came from an English paleontologist. As I said earlier, it's Sir Richard Owen. Dino come from uh, the Greek word deinos, which means terrible, and saurus comes from the Greek word soros, which means lizard. Richard Owen came up with this name in 1842 after he had seen lots of dinosaur fossils being uncovered. He realized that they all link it in some way and came up with uh, the name dinosaur. Yeah, we are building the jaw right now on those first organs and the first parts of this skeleton don't cost much and anyway I have tapped a lot and uh, we have in stock now more than 50 trillion of resources so no problem to uh, build so did you know that one of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. Dinosaurs were huge. A lot of them were huge and all range in different sizes. So there were very tall ones, very small ones, and very heavy ones. And it is believed, based on fossils, that the Argentinosaurus weighed up to 100 tons, which is the same as around 15 elephants. That's absolutely astounding. And it was also around 8 meters tall and 37 meters long. That's absolutely gigantic. It was much bigger than the famous T-Rex. And did you know that the Tyrannosaurus Rex, T-Rex, the famous one, was the most ferocious dinosaur. That's why he was clearly highlighted in Jurassic Park, the movie. It is believed that the T-Rex was one of the most ferocious dinosaurs there was. The Tyrannosaurus Rex had the strongest bite of any animal on Earth ever. The night this dinosaur was given the name King of the Tyrant Lizards and was about the size of a school bus. Yeah still much uh, smaller than the Argentinosaurus. And now we are going to talk about the Micropachycephalosaurus. <laughs> and this is the, the dinosaur who has the longest name. Yeah, Micropachycephalosaurus. That's, that's really long, right? It was found in China. And it's probably the hardest name of dinosaur to say. 
It was a herbivore, which means it was a vegetarian. And scientists think that the Micropachycephalosaurus live around 84 to 71 million years ago. Let's talk about now descendants uh, from dinosaurs. Lizards, turtles, snakes, and crocodiles all descend from dinosaurs. As for the reason why dinosaurs became extinct, well, scientists think that uh, that was due to an asteroid hitting the Earth. Dinosaurs uh, will become extinct around 66 million years ago because at that time an asteroid hit the Earth which made lots of dust and dirt rise into the air and this blocked the sun and made the Earth very cold. One of the main theories is that because of uh, the climate change the dinosaurs could not survive and became extinct. What about the smallest dinosaur? Well, the smallest fully grown fossil dinosaur is the little bird hip plant eater Lesothosaurus, which was only the size of a chicken, our modern chicken. Smaller fossilized examples have been found but these were baby dinosaurs, so they were not fully grown dinosaurs. That doesn't count then. Talking now about the most brainy dinosaur, one of the most intelligent dinosaurs was Trudon. It was a hunting dinosaur, about two meters long and who had a brain size similar to that of a mammal of today stereoscopic vision and grasping hands. So having talked about the most intelligent one, we can talk now about the dumbest dinosaur, <laughs> supposedly. That was the Stegosaurus, who had a brain of the size of a walnut, only three centimeters long and weighing 75 grams only. Comparing brain size to body size, well, the Plateosaurus could also be one of the dumbest dinosaurs. Stoked now about the tallest dinosaur, the tallest one were the Brachiosaurid group of sauropods. Their front legs were longer than the rear legs, giving them a giraffe-like stance. This combined with their extremely long necks, which were held vertically, meant they could browse off the tallest trees. Brachiosaurus, the most well-known of that group of Brachiosaurid, was 30 meters tall. Sauroposeidon was massive and probably grew to 18.5 meters tall, making it the tallest dinosaur. Of course, being very tall, it didn't run fast. And we are going to talk about the fastest running dinosaur. The speediest dinosaurs were the ostrich mimic ornithomimids like the Dromaeosaurus, which could probably run at speeds of up to 60 km per hour. That's absolutely crazy. And how long would you think that a dinosaur would live on average? Well, no one knows exactly how long a dinosaur's lifespan was. Some scientists speculate some dinosaurs live for as long as 200 years. The first recorded description of a possible dinosaur bone discovery 
dates back to 3,500 years ago in China. At the time, people did not know about dinosaurs, so they thought that their discovery, which was some dinosaur teeth, belonged to dragons. Funny, huh? And did you know that some dinosaurs may have had colorful skin? Even if scientists don't know for sure, it's likely that most dinosaurs had green and brown scales to help them hide among trees and plants. Snakes and lizards shed their skin when they grow and researchers believe that dinosaurs may have done the same. And did you know that all dinosaurs laid eggs? About 40 kinds of dinosaur eggs have been discovered. Like birds and reptiles today, dinosaurs built nests and laid eggs. Some even fed and protected their babies. You can tell the difference between a dinosaur fossil and a stone by licking it. That's funny, right? But that's real. While this doesn't sound like the most legitimate approach, paleontologists may find themselves doing this on a daily basis. Because if you lick a suspected fossil, it will stick ever so slightly to your tongue because fossils are more porous than stones. That's a nice trick, right? And the final fact, fun fact, is about a four wings dinosaur, adorably named the Microraptor, this minuscule bird-like dinosaur measures just uh, between 60 to 90 centimeters, so between 2 and 3 feet long, and weighs about um, two, between 2 and 3 pounds, so between 1 and 136 kilograms. There have been hundreds of fossilized remains uncovered since the turn of the 21st century and all fossils clearly show that the Microraptor had wings on both its front and rear legs, so four wings in total, that's crazy. It's simply very weird to visualize. And that's also the end of the building of this first dinosaur in the museum part of Iron Pet. As you can see, we can sell this dinosaur for 15 gems, but of course I'm not going to uh, sell it. We're just going to keep it to watch later on, very simply because by selling, I will have to upgrade it again from scratch. And it's no way I'm going to do that. Just going to keep it for the pleasure of watching it later on, turn around like this and like that to visualize. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me complete the building of the first uh, dinosaur skeleton in the museum in Iron Pet, an Iron game published by Brothers Apps and Games. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay to subscribe and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Iron Pet. I'm going to play the second dinosaur in the museum soon. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon again, practice is fine. Bye-bye.